Hi, my name is Sri Sandy, Managing Director of The Door. So I'm putting this video together for our van door customers. So if you've purchased a, a van door and um, you want to know how to fit it, or you might be browsing and uh, you want to see if the van door is suitable for your camper van. So I'll, I'll explain quickly uh, about uh, its features and how to measure it and also how to fit. So. Our van door is a, is a great concept, so it's universal. We have two different sizes. Uh, the smaller size means that the opening is smaller and that would fit uh, your sort of T5, T6, Favero type size um, campers. So these should fit either on the side or the rear of your camper. And you can purchase two and they will sit, fit on the side and the rear. Um, and the things to measure up are is the opening. So on our website, you'll see the dimensions of the screen you'll see the total outside edge and then you also see the opening and the opening is key to, to make sure you know if it, if it fits or not so what you do is you would measure um, from rubber to rubber to top rubber to the floor so if you're doing a side uh, measurement so the side opening if you check that width and you check the height from the from the top rubber to the floor because you tuck the fabric into the rubber. So, and then what you want is that opening to fit with inside that um, your opening. If it goes over, then you will, um, the, 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 the screen is, is too big for you. Um, but, so what you want to do is check that measurements against our measurements, and then the excess fabric around, all that does is um, that tucks into your rubber surround and then you trim off the excess. So I'll explain in a minute how you do that. Uh, it's very, very simple. Um, a few features on our van door. So um, we have changed it slightly uh, to our last model. So our last model, the, the fabric we used in Oxford. This one, um, we're now using uh, a lighter tent fabric. And then, as you can see on the back, we've got... Um, our, our reflective uh, backing and that was uh, to support um, in the summer when it's hot um, it can keep the cooling to the the camper van and um, or in the winter it can reflect some of the heat back if you if you're using that um, so that's just a, a, an added feature with the net we reduce the um, the size of the hole so we've got um, a, a lot uh, finer net and this was to support um, our UK customers traveling to um, places like Scotland where they have uh, very small midges. Um, so that should fight against that. Um, if you're traveling abroad um, and you're unsure, some of the local bugs uh, that could be quite small, that will support against that. But obviously this will fight against any mosquitoes or flies or the larger and also to support against midges. So there's, there's three different ways uh, to use this so you've got zips either side <clears throat> front and back so you can zip them up fully and then you can roll your magnetic uh, net and your uh, waterproof privacy layer up and it will hold in the clips so if you use the camper, camper van for uh, everyday use um, and then only go camping through certain seasons you can roll it up and it tucks up out the way uh, and clips up out the way so it just gives you full access whenever you need it um, which is a, a great option then we've got um, an outside privacy and waterproof layer and the reason why we we went with that and kept with that um, was because say for example in the summer um, you're in the camper van and it's very very hot and um, you want to keep the doors open and you're getting changed if you're in the camper van and you need some privacy you can zip that privacy layer down and you can get changed we're still keeping the doors open so you can still keep some of that um, hot air out and, and, and get dressed in a bit more comfort and privacy and then also in the, the summer evenings when it's really really hot and you want to keep the camper van doors open to try and get some air in or to, to be a little bit cooler to have that privacy layer um, if you're if you've got the side and the rear doors open 
um, you can have it and technically turn the camper van into a tent. So if you do get any sudden downpour of, of rain in the evening while you're sleeping, then that privacy layer will um, and waterproof layer will keep the inside of your camper van dry. Um, so, it, you know, when it rains through the evening, it's still really hot. You don't want to close the van doors because it's so hot. So that privacy waterproof layer, um, it's just an added, uh, added feature which we think is great. When, when not in use, it rolls up and it's clipped, clipped up at the top. And then you are just left with your mosquito um, net that, um, that you walk in and out of and it closes behind you with the magnet in place. So a very, very easy to fit van door. What you need to do is you need to rip with your opening. So you use your, um, the label our, our, um, with our um, mosquito net. This has changed to a uh, embroidered. So let's say this is a prototype, but that would be embroidered uh, logo. And what you do is you would, um, you have your privacy layer and that goes at the front. The, the front wouldn't be silver, this is black. So I, that is a black front. You can see it there behind the screen. There. So the front of the door is black, and that would go above your opening. So what you do is you measure up. Uh, and you align your opening and once you're happy with the height and the measurement of the floor so you want it touching the floor and you want it just above and then what you do is you clamp it the center into place you clamp the center into place push aside that and you clamp the sides so you hold it in place and then you readjust uh, your central and your height and once you've got that alignment right then you can put your uh, clamps in at the side so we've got an instruction guide um, in your kit um, that will explain how to do this uh, before we put a video together. So you've got your clamps into place, your opening is all lined up. And then what you do is you remove the clamp and then you pull the weather strip down and you tuck your fabric in and you work your way across. So you put your clamp back on, move across, remove the clamp, tuck it in, put the clamp back up. And you'll do that all the way across and, and down. And then once you're happy that the weight is spread and you're happy with your alignment, and then you've, um, you've rolled up your waterproof layer and you've tested the mosquito uh, net so it closes together nice and tightly, and you're happy with that and your height, then you can remove those clamps and then you can trim off the excess around the fabric then. So um, a, sh a shot. Stanley knife without trying to cut the uh, or scrape your paintwork uh, or scissors or what have you and you can just get that nice and neat all the way around your rubber uh, and then that, that's it it's literally set there for you um, you can have it fully open you can have mosquito net or you can have your privacy layer so recommended retail price um, we, we went for a obviously it's a universal option so there's a couple of things to, to look for um, that means it may not fit your camper van. So a thing to look for is on a on your sliding door camper van, as you slide across, you may have an arm that loops under your weather strip. If you've got a sprinter or a crafter, it doesn't do that. It just slides across on the mid arm and closes and your door closes up against your weather strip, uh, which is fine. On, on some models, there is uh, and only a few, the arm goes under the weather strip um, and that means then that you won't be able to tuck your screen into the weather strip because the arm will be in the way. So if you've got a camper van a side door like that, um, this wouldn't be suitable for you. Um, another thing to look for in the back of the van as well, so it tucks into the weather rubber strips and what you can do is your, um, your doors connect at the top um, and clamp on and close so you can just close the doors up against that if you wish and it will just clamp on uh, it won't impede uh, your uh, your open and close the material is is quite light you can tidy it up if you wish so you can um, you can make a little cut and you can tuck the fabric um, you can 
remove some of the clamp and, and, and tuck it behind, um, which is, is not a problem. But if your clamps go really far back past your Weber strip, then you'd either have to loosen your screen um, or it's not suitable. So any, anything that's close by, I, I, I wouldn't be concerned about closing the doors onto your clamps there. Um, and like I said, you can trim and, and cut and tidy around. Uh, it is a universal screen. Uh, it's not a uh, bespoke made screen. Um, a bespoke made screen would retail probably between 250, 450, 500 upwards. And they're fantastic. Bespoke made to your camper van. Um, you know, and, and we do recommend these, but we, we wanted to produce a door that was middle of the road, um, great quality, really good features with the privacy, um, the thin net, um, and would fit basically 90% um, of camper vans on, on the market. Um, there, uh, there's customers who, who make nets themselves, there's a buying net and they put uh, magnets to, great, you know, that's, that's great. If you've got the ability to do that, um, that's great. You just pull the magnets away and what have you. So um, the net quality is slightly different. Uh, you don't have that privacy layer. Um, if you don't have the skill set or you wanted, um, you know, you, you wanted something that was great uh, universal wise, we're a perfect option. Um, so in the kit, you'll have your screen, choose the right uh, size opening for your camper van. Any queries, drop us a message, live chat, uh, phone call, we're happy to support. Um, you'll have in the, uh, in the pack then, um, a guide how to fit uh, some clips to help clip um, or keep your, keep your screen uh, clipped up as well when you tuck your rubber in um, but they're, they're very easy to fit top tip keep your clamps into place when the screen uh, when you're uh, popping your screen into place um, and once the weight is spread evenly across the screen then you can remove your clamps but keep your clamps into place because you might readjust your height and, uh, and what have you um, and yeah what once you've uh, tested your net as well and um, that's pretty simple to do just tap the tap the net if there's enough slack for you to, for open and close but they are a perfect option shoe fly don't bother me shoe fly don't bother me shoe fly don't bother me because i believe to somebody I feel I feel I feel like a morning star I feel I feel I feel like a morning star I feel I feel I feel I feel feel like a morning star I feel I feel I feel I feel like a morning star